Hey, quarterbacks, in this weird day and age, even when you may not have receivers there, you can still get your work in. I'm about to show you how, coming up right now. Hey, everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Young athletes, if you're looking for information, instruction, training tips, EliteAthletesTV.com. You can find all of our stuff there from some of the greatest athletes to ever play their sport. Today, I want to talk to you about working out in this weird COVID time. I know a lot of families aren't comfortable with having players together, having teams together. And so sometimes as a quarterback, you can't get receivers out there to catch for you. Does that mean you can't work out? Well, no, you have to work out. You have to get your throws in. You have to stay sharp. And so to do that, you have to go out and figure out a way to do it by yourself. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make spot throws. Before we get started, if you haven't done it yet and you love football content, make sure you smash the subscribe button and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new stuff coming out that can help you with your game. And give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go get a workout in, even if you don't have receivers present. And leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Finally, please share this video out. Family, teammates, friends, fans, anybody who loves football content, loves sports content, the more you share this out, the more young athletes we can help. And that's our mission here at EliteAthletesTV.com. I want to remind you, before you watch this, I haven't played in years. And my quarterback, who was supposed to show up for this filming, didn't show up. So I had to do all the reps myself. So still got it, just maybe not the same way I did when I was playing. But right now, let's take a look at spot throws. As a quarterback, obviously, you have to throw. And you're not always going to have receivers out there. We're in California. It's the end of the summer. It's about 100 degrees out right now. So none of my guys want to come out and run routes, but I can still get my work in. And the way we do it is by running spot throws. I'll show you an efficient way to do it right now. But essentially, I've set up a net out here, uh, and I have targets on that net. You can use a bike tire. You can use a towel over a chain link fence. You can use the back of a lacrosse net, back of a soccer net. Just give yourself a target within that space to throw at, and you can spot throw anytime you want. Obviously, if you can get receivers, live receivers, or a dad, or a brother, or an uncle, or a sister to come out and catch, always better. But if you have to do it on your own, spot throw is the way to go. I start off here for my three-step stuff, uh, and I always start on the right side, so I'm throwing back to my left. Always try to work throwing backside more than I work throwing front side because it's a harder throw for all the torque, all the torsion going back to your backside. So I start here, I've got a bag of balls, and I've got my net. And all I do is I visualize the routes that I want to throw. So from here, start five yards off the net. I'm throwing the hitch to the outside off of a three-step drop. Set, go! Stick it on the number every time. Accuracy is everything for a quarterback. You're always throwing for a target. This time, I'm going to throw for the three. Inside hitch on a double hitch route. And again, different targets allow you different visualization options. Now, I've got a hitch with a strong safety driving. I've got to throw the ball low and away, so I'm going to hit target number two in the middle. Hut. You can also, starting here, once you've thrown your balls that you want to throw for the hitches, you can turn, face the opposite way, and now throw the inside curl. So now it's a five-step drop. You can either throw it on timing or throw it with the hitch and picture your targets as different locations in zone or man. So I'm throwing the inside curl versus zone to the number one. Hut! And stick it on them. From one spot, you can throw four to five different routes. Once you've done that, switch sides and throw the other routes. So now, I've thrown all my routes for my three-step stuff at five yards. I'm scooting back out, and I'm going to start at 10 yards, or in this case, as a quarterback, remember, we're always a yard off, so 11 yards off the ball uh, from my targets. And now I'm going to throw inside curls. I'm going to throw slant posts or the seam posts, just the quick hitter from the outside. I'm going to throw the vertical route at the 12-yard to 13-yard depth. I'm going to hit the stuff that you would hit from a five-step either timing or five-step hitch drop all from one spot. This time I'm throwing the inside curl into zone to number three. Set, hut! Now I'm gonna throw 
the inside cross to target number one. Set, hut! Shorten my step a little bit. All right, now the seam post. To do this, all I have to do is take about three steps out, and I've got that angle on the seam post. This is a timing throw. You're throwing this against a cover four look, something where the safety jumps, a cover three look where he gets that inside angle. Set, hut! And on the money. So right there, three more routes that we can throw, and we'll move to our next spot. Now I'm going to throw seam routes, vertical seams, like four vertical versus cover two, four vertical versus cover three, three vertical versus cover two, those kind of routes that we're looking for, or man beaters on the seams versus cover zero. So here's a look. I'm going to start here, and I'm visualizing. I've got a seam route coming down the middle versus cover two. I'm trying to lead him away from that safety inside, so I'm going to throw to the three. Set, hut! He made a hell of a catch. Now I've got a safety in trail in man, so I'm putting it over the top, a little more touch on this ball to number one. Set, hut! Hold the safety and drop it over the top for our receiver to get underneath. The key to throwing spot routes is being able to visualize the route. Know what you're throwing to. See the picture of the receiver in your head. You can throw deep routes by stepping back. You can throw the go routes over the top. You can throw the whole shots versus cover two by stepping out to the numbers. Imagine it in your head. See the route, find your spot on the field, and make that throw. And I don't care whether it's to a tire from a tree, to a goal post, to a lacrosse net. Anything works to get your reps in. But if you're not visualizing, if you're not imagining what your throw is, then you might as well be jogging because you're just getting reps. We're working as quarterbacks, and we make spot throws pay. Remember, visualization, whether you're doing it on the field, making spot throws, or just doing it for mental work while you're at the house, is key for any athlete trying to improve at their sports. Mental reps are reps, and they help you with your game. So use them when you're making spot throws and get better at the position. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. Get notified every time we have something else that can help you out. Give me a thumbs up if you know how to work out, even if you can't get receivers there. And leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Finally, please remember to share this video out. Anybody who you think we can help, that's our goal here at EliteAthletesTV.com. We're trying to help young athletes, young coaches, improve their game, improve their football IQ, get in some quarterback training or sports training in general, and get better at their game. <laughs>